Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Kovalt and in this video I'm going to show you how to find the mass defect and the nuclear binding energy of a uh, isotope. So let's get into this. So this is problem, this is actually problem number two, not problem number one. I forgot to change that. I just did a video on my first problem and this is the second problem. <clears throat> so in this problem, we're given uh, the uranium-238 isotope, and we're asked to find the mass defect and then find the binding, the nuclear binding energy per nucleon, and that's going to be in uh, mega electron volts. So we're given uranium-238. The mass of uranium-238 is going to be 238.0507848 AMUs, and so. We need to find the mass defect. Well, what is the mass defect? The mass defect is the difference in mass uh, between when you add up all the neutrons and protons of your nucleus, individually add them together, and then compare that with the mass of the nucleide itself, or the nucleide itself here. So this is the mass. We want to compare, we want to add up all the neutrons and protons in this in this uh, particular nuclide here and, and compare that to the mass here. And then the difference between those two numbers is going to be the mass defect. So let's get this started. So we have uranium-238. This is the mass number. The mass number is, uh, tells you the mass, or the, I'm sorry, the number of protons and neutrons together. So we need to figure out what the neutron, I'm sorry, what the protons are subtract that from the mass number and we'll get the number of neutrons. So the atomic number of uranium is 92, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, 92. So the number of protons is then going to be 92 because that is the atomic number. And so therefore, we subtract 92 from this number, and we get the number of neutrons. So subtracting 92 from this, so two, um, uh, that's 236, and then take away uh, 90, uh, that's going to be two, uh, uh, let's say two, 136, 126. So we got 100 and 26 neutrons. And you can double check, you can add uh, these together. So that's two and six is eight, nine and two is going to be, oops, that is not correct. That would be, we want this to be 40, 46, 146. So eight, nine, four is uh, 13, two, yeah. Okay, so 146 neutrons. Uh, so now what I can do is I can take each number of the uh, subatomic particles. I can take the number of protons, multiply that by the mass of a proton, and take the number of neutrons and multiply that by the number of neutrons. So, and then add them together. And that'll be the total mass of protons and neutrons together. So here, I'll take the number of protons, which is going to be 92. I'm going to multiply that by the mass of a proton, 1.00783 AMUs. And then I'm going to add that to the amount of mass I get from the neutron. So I have 146 neutrons. I'm going to multiply that by the mass of the neutron, so 1.00, 1 1.00866 AMUs. And then I add that together, and what do I get? Let's calculate this really quickly. So we get 92 times 1.00. 783 equals, I'm going to add to that, the neutrons, so that's 146 times 
1.00866 equals, and I get a total mass of 239.98472 AMUs. All right, so what is this mass? This is the mass of all the protons and neutrons, I, I, 92 protons and 146 neutrons, all taken separately and put together. So that's the mass that we calculated here. Now what we need to do is compare that with the mass given here. This is the actual mass of your atom, of this particular isotope, uranium-238. So the difference between these masses is what we call the mass defect. And you can see here that the mass here of the actual atom, when you put these together in the actual atom, is actually less. Where did that, elect where did that uh, mass go? Where, is, where did this defect arise from? Okay, so what is the defect? So we're going to take this number and subtract that one since it's smaller. 238.050784 AMUs. And we're going to go ahead and subtract that number. So minus 238.050784 equals. And we get a difference of 1.933936 AMUs. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the mass defect. This is the amount of this is the amount of mass in AMUs that was lost in the atom when we put these together. So what happened to the mass? Well, that's where the binding energy comes in. So the nuclear binding energy is the energy that's holding all of the nuclei of the nucleons in the nucleus together. All the protons, all the neutrons. Why are the protons not flying apart? Because they're all positive, right? All positive. Um, same um, same charges are going to repel each other, and we got all these positive uh, protons in the nucleus. Well, why aren't they uh, repelling? Why isn't the nucleus just falling apart? Well, the reason is because there's a binding energy that's holding them together. Part of the this is the strong nuclear force. So where is that strong nuclear force comes from? It came from the mass defect. So if you remember. Einstein's famous equation, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. That mass defect was converted, that, that mass, that missing mass was converted into energy. That energy is being used to hold the nucleus together. So let's calculate that nuclear binding energy per nucleon. So we're going to first calculate the total binding energy. So we're going to take the mass defect... And we're going to convert that to ener into energy using this relationship. 1 AMU uh, is equal to 931.5 mega electron volts. And so we take our 1.933936. Oops, wrong number. We're yeah, no, that's right. I'm mis uh, Yeah, so that's the number making sure and so amus this is our mass defect and we're going to use this conversion factor to convert into mega electron volts so one amu goes on the bottom and the 931.5 goes on top 931.5 mega electron volts so the AMUs cancel out. Now we have mega electron volts. So we just multiply those numbers together times 931.5 equals. 
and we get 1801.46. So 1801.46. Let's throw another one in there. One mega electron volts. Now this is here. We calculated the amount of energy that we get from this amount of mass that's missing from the nucleus. So now, but this, we're not done yet because this is the total binding energy, but not per nucleon. We want to get the nu uh, per nucleon. So what is a nucleon? A nucleon is a particle in the nucleus. How many particles do we have in the nucleus? That's the mass number, 238, protons and neutrons. So we need to divide this number by 238. So we're going to take 1,801.461 1, mega electron volts, divide that by 238, and that'll give us the binding energy, the nuclear binding energy per nucleon. So divide that by 1,801.461. Four, six, one equals, oh my Lord, that is 1.0000 and 0021. So we got definitely enough. Let me, uh, zero, zero, oh, three more zeros. So zero, 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 two, one, uh, mega electron volts per nucleon. So that is the binding energy per nucleon. And again, this is, this is the mass defect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you calculate the mass defect and the nuclear binding energy per nucleon for a given isotope. I hope this is helpful. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this video for any reason, if you learned this video, uh, if you learn from this video, then please, by all means, like the video, share it with your friends, hit that like button. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. And when you do, make sure you click all so you can be notified by all the videos I put out. And finally, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.